Hello, I wanted to do a quick video just to show my first impressions uh, of this East River Drive pedal by Electro Harmonics that I've just purchased. Um, I just wanted to quickly show sort of the outside of it because that might be useful for some people. Uh, I'm not going to play it. I've just tried it, it sounds fine. So um, there's lots of videos on YouTube of people playing it who are far better than me. So I have a look at those. But I just wanted to show the outside of it because that might be useful for some people. So um, the casing is uh, uh, aluminium, I think. It looks like cast aluminium to me. It's fairly lightweight if you take the battery out, um, but it's quite raw, so you can kind of see the some of the grinding marks from the factory where it was uh, obviously made. But I quite like it. It looks uh, quite rugged, so obviously that's where your um, power supply goes. The um, this isn't a sticker on the front. It's more. It's like a paint application of some kind but again it's uh, it's quite nice nice and bright colors um, the the knobs have quite a bit of a resistance to them um, so they're fairly tight when you when you turn them the the button at, at first I, I was sure this is a non latching switch because it travels quite far and nothing happens but you have to press it right at the end before it clicks so Feels a little bit strange, but I suppose you get used to it. There's a nice bright, bright uh, LED there. Um, I'll just quickly show you the inside of it as well. The only annoying thing on the back is, unlike some of the pedals, which have a uh, just one big sort of bolt that you can normally take off with a coin. Obviously, here you're going to have to uh, take all these four screws out if you're using batteries. Obviously, if you're not using batteries, probably not really a problem. So here's the inside of it. Uh, actually, comes already preloaded with a with a battery, which is quite nice if you're using those. But obviously, I'm not going to be, so I'm going to be taking that out. And it's a very uh, strange-looking battery. But there you go. Um, so the inside of it, of you know, none of it seems to be covered. But um, obviously, from what I understand, this is more of a clone, I suppose. I don't know what's the right word to call it, but. It's supposed to um, be very much like a tube screamer, so you might be able to see there is the the chip. Come on. So this is supposed to be what uh, the tube screamers are using, I believe. Um, but this is quite a bit um, cheaper than the tube screamer. So um, another thing I've, I've found, you know, a bit annoying is that these are molded on very hard to this um, to this plate so I don't want to rip them off but obviously because they're raised trying to put velcro on the bottom of the pedal is going to be a bit tricky so I'll have to figure something out maybe put something underneath here to level it out um, that's the box it comes in um, almost even looks like a tube screamer green um, but for people that like stickers unfortunately they don't give you any stickers but you know who cares so there you go um quite a nice pedal and i uh, hope you found this uh, useful